<laughs> Honestly, this statement made by Mieti Allah is really a breaking news. Indeed, hmm, you know, hear what they are telling their, their members. Say, don't retaliate. Mieti Allah begs members, beg members in Southern Kaduna. They are begging them because it's really surprising. Everybody's surprising. So everybody's surprised that, yes, they are making this kind of statement. Like, seriously? Well, Mieti Allah Kato Breeders Association of Nigeria, Magban, has urged its members not to take law into their hands by retaliating the recent attacks in some parts of Southern Kaduna in which three of its members were killed. Its director, media and publicity in Kaduna State, Bayeru Zangu, in a statement yesterday, cautioned those he referred to as criminal elements to desist from their actions. Zangu said, we condemn these unprovoked attacks by those hard criminal elements who are hell-bent on sabotaging the peace processes in the area. All these attacks happened after the peace treaty was reached and signed by all the warring tribes of Hausa, Fulani and Hatiap, Katav, in a one-day summit on peace and reconciliation organized by the paramount traditional ruler of the chiefdom, Sir Dominic Gambu Yaya, on 22nd of August 2020. The Hausa and Fulani communities remained calm and law-abiding, but to our greatest surprise, some of those suspected Atiap Qatar criminals refused to respect the agreement that was reached and continued with their unprovoked attacks on the unsuspecting and innocent Fulani headsmen. We are appealing to the perpetrators of these attacks to, in the interest of peace, refrain from these breaches of the peace accord that was reached by respect their elders and parents who are working day and night to restore peace law and order in the area. We are calling on the security agencies and Kaduna state government to ensure that the perpetrators of these attacks are brought to book accordingly. We are appealing to our Fulani pastoralists to continue living in peace and be reporting any suspicious movement they may see to security agencies as we as well as give maximum cooperation in order to restore lasting peace to the area. Do you know the problem I have with all of these things, whether they are appeal or whatever is genuine or not? But the problem is that if they now know the people who are involved in this thing, why is it that the, the security people have not been able to arrest anybody? Because if majority of them have been arrested, it will serve as a deterrent to others. But a situation where nothing is being done, and you accuse this one, you accuse this one, the same thing when politicians are accusing each other, political parties are accusing each other, you are the one who is in, who is responsible for this, you are the one who is causing this problem. And yet, what is the police doing? They won't do anything. Because we can't say we have a law and order, we have a constitution, we have a, 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 a things guiding us as a country, and yet things people just do whatever they want, whatever they want to do. The government seems to be looking at the other side when it's happening to some area or when it's some, some zones or some tribes are involved. But when others are doing the same thing, they will not look at the other side. They will want to use hammer to just to, to smash a to smash an ants. How do you expect that kind of country to move forward? Before you know, yeah, you are you are hearing different different things from different people. Or Basanja will say, oh, the country is failing, this and this and that. People are trying to disintegrate. People are uh, finding the ember of a uh, disunity, do this and this and that. Then who are the people who, who are in charge who are supposed to do the right thing? The so-called elders are just there with, without, any, without providing any solution to all the problems we are having. We have traditional rulers in those states, in that uh, particular state, Southern uh, Cardona state. We have a government. We have security people. All of them are just getting salaries without doing anything. I don't just understand. We continue to experience the same problem and no solution being preferred. They will still come and be telling you, everybody knows the right thing, everybody knows what to do, but they won't do it. Because if people have been arrested, whether it is the full man, whether it is the RTAP they are talking about, if they have been arrested, everybody will risk. They will learn sense. They will learn sense. Now you now know it is this RTAP people that are causing this problem. Then what is the police doing? Let them go and get them arrested. But they will not arrest them. See the man that is even trying to give them information. Obadiah, Melafia. Their DSS the, he has been inviting him over and over again, over and over again. But people will call, we accuse some people they are the ones behind some problems happening in that area. 
they will not go after those people. They will not arrest that, those people. In my opinion, if your if your beg the begging of your begging of your members not to retaliate, if it is really genuine, and you are doing the right thing, or you feel because now you are in, in the, uh, uh, you are standing on the position of saying that you are the ones who is a victim, or you are the victim, or victims as this as the case may be in this circumstance, and now you are begging your people not to retaliate. If that call is genuine. Then why can't the police arrest them? Now they will not, they are telling oh they should they should respect their elders they should respect their leaders who have been working up and down to make sure that peace is restored. Why can't you call the police to ar- to get them arrested? And why is it that the police people have not really arrested the so called fullness? Because now you are playing as if a, you have not done anything because that is the position you are taking. You have done nothing. You are just sitting down your home. You are fo- you are folding your arms. And this other group are the ones attacking you. What have you done in the past? Has police arrested you people? Anybody who is involved in any form of a, a, a crime should be should be should be brought to so book should be arrested. We don't do the right thing and we want things to go fine. We want things to take shape. It won't work that way. It will not work that way. It won't work. It will not work. So what are we talking about? It will work. It will not work. It's unfortunate. Now they are begging their people. You have to beg. You have to. You have to talk to them. You have to talk to them very well if you really want the peace. And those who are see funny the ember of a, a violence or disunity should 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 be arrested. Time of vengeance has come. Remember that. 1967 is not 2020. Fulani and Islamic uh, group should be warned. Are you sure you are saying the truth? Fulani law abiding. Hmm. They are law. They say they are law abiding. No, they are really law abiding. You people will conduct fake attack to go he innocent ones. Stop pretending. Okay. See the people talking. Hmm. And government is backing you because government is backing you. Playing the victim. Hmm. It is this hypocrisy that can never guarantee peace in Southern Kaduna. You cannot go about attacking and killing people in their homes only to come out and start giving the impression you are the victims. We don't want any Fulani in our environment anymore. Mark it. You see, people do not even trust them. People do not trust them. You know, we know everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows what everybody can do. So guys, let's hear your opinion concerning the begging of this Emiratiala telling their members not to retaliate. Leave your comments and let us know your thoughts.